So the first thing I'm going to do is take this Rimmel uh, Soft Coal Kajal Liner Pencil in the color Sable Brown and I am going to cut out the crease. So this is the fun part where we have to kind of make the shape we want with our eyes. Sorry, I just need to grab a mirror. But the first thing we're going to do is cut out the crease with the liner. Then we're going to go ahead and blend that out. So make sure your pencil's nice and sharp and let's get this shape. So I have a little bit of a hooded eye, so I have to go a little bit above my crease. But if your crease shows, then um, I'm jealous of you and you can just go ahead and um, cut out your crease right where it is. But because mine is a little bit hooded, I have to go above. I'm just lightly, lightly creating that shape. Trying to get it like the other one. And I, I do kind of flick it out at the end. Slightly. Yeah, that's too much. But, yeah. So now I'm going to use... Which brush should I use? This is a Coastal Scents brush. It's um, it's the BRCS08 brush. It's kind of a dense crease brush, and this is what I'm going to use to blend out this line. So just kind of gently go along that and diffuse it out. This is just for our shape. So you can diffuse this out and just blend it like that. I had to go over it a couple times just to get it nice and opaque where I wanted the crease actually cut but we do want it to blend out nicely so just do that until you have a nice cut crease and it is blended upwards I'm not blending down here I'm blending up almost kind of in a flicking motion It's really subtle, but it's just diffusing out that line. And these coal liners work really well to smudge, like we're doing. Okay, so that's what it should look like. Next, I'm going to take the color Soft Brown from MAC. Or you could use um, Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. I just have MAC in front of me. And I'm taking a Stigma E36 blending brush. And I'm going to use that color just to blend a little more upwards. So again, I'm not going above. I'm staying right. I mean, I'm not going below. I'm staying above. And just diffusing this upwards. So we have a nice gradient effect. And I don't have a lot of product on the brush either. This is just giving us a nice sort of transition color. You can even go in with just, I actually did this too. I used a Morphe B19 brush just with no product on it at all. And I blended this out. Then I take my Sigma E30 pencil brush and I use the color Brown Script from MAC. And this I'm going to go in and just cut the crease out further and deepen it a little more. <laughs> While flicking upwards to blend. I meant to mention that. And then I go back with my pencil brush and I blend this color out, blending it upward.
And again, this is a step you'll have to go ahead and do a couple of times until you get the opacity that you like and um, it's blended. And I, I personally have to keep going in this inner corner here and keep doing that. Make sure you use a really wispy brush so that it blends it. That's why I chose this really tiny little detailer blender. It's really small, but it blends exactly where I want it to blend. So to go ahead and cut the crease further, I'm going to take my Painterly Paint Pot from MAC and just any flat concealer brush. I don't even know where this one's from, but I'm going to get that on my brush and I'm going to clean up that cut crease even more. Um, getting this all over my lid too and going to act as a primer. So start below and then it helps too if you look down into a mirror like I am. That way you can really see where that line is and where you want to place the product. You have to be careful because this is where it matters. This is where we're really cleaning up that area. Any um, flesh toned or you know white base will work. We're just really cleaning this up. We're gonna put shadow over it. Um, you could kind of do any lid color you wanted depending on the look you're going for. I'm using the Makeup Forever um, Artist Shadow in I524. It looks like that. It's like a nice kind of pinky, champagne-y almost color. And I'm just going to take another flat brush. This is from the Naked 3 palette, I think. Yeah, the Naked 3. And I'm going to place this exactly where I just put the base as our lid color. And this I'm packing on because I don't want it to go anywhere that it shouldn't go. So just pack it very carefully when you get to your crease. And you might have to go in and cut your crease again. I had to. You probably have to. No one's perfect. So I'm going in with brown script on my pencil brush again and just defining that even further. And of course, anytime you add, you need to blend. So taking my Sigma blending brush again, blend it one more time. And then I also take my clean brush again and blend, blend it all. And then the final thing I'm going to do is highlight my brow bone with, I think I used a color, mm, Floof. I used a color Floof from MAC and I literally, I'm going to tap that on super quick because I don't want it to be too, too intense up there. So there's the top. Now for the bottom. This is the fun part. <laughs> the liner. So I'm going to do a winged liner. You can do whatever kind of liner you prefer. I'll be right back to do that. But I did my liner on the top and now I'm just smudging um, that same liner we used to cut out the grease. I'm smudging that on my lower lash line just to kind of balance out the top and the bottom. Just kind of smoke that out till it's smoky, if that makes sense. <laughs> then with my pencil brush again, I'm gonna take brown script and just go near my lower lash line again with the same color just to warm it up because that's kind of a warmer color and we just want to balance everything out like that. Ooh. Every time I smudge shadow on my lower lash line, it gets into my eyeball. It's awful. It's uncomfortable. 
um, yeah. Then you can go ahead and apply any sort of lashes you want. I'm going to do that afterwards. First, I'm going to contour my face. I'm going to set my concealer with the Smashbox Contour Kit. I'm going to use the highlight color. As you can see, it's very well loved by me. Just set that anywhere you highlighted you want to set with this. Ugh. Now to contour, I'm going to use this brush that came with one of my Benefit uh, blushes. I think this came from one of, um, I think it came from De Georgia, it's called. I'm going to take my Smashbox contour color and I'm going to carve that out like that. And then I'm going to use my Sephora Pro Contour 74 to blend it. Make sure you blend it all the way back to the hairline. I make a weird face when I do that. My hair is also terrible today, so I apologize. But again, carve out your cheekbone. And blend. This is just kind of how I've been doing it lately. I don't know. I don't know. But i um, just going to contour my jawline a little bit. <laughs> Blend it out, girl. Then with this same brush, take the tiniest bit and I'm going to contour my nose. I actually don't contour my nose a lot often. Just because I don't mind my nose. I don't know. I just don't. But um, then I take bronzer. And for this look, I'm going to use, this has been like my favorite bronzer lately. It's the Makeup Forever Matte Bronze in the shade 20. This is a um, matte bronzer, and I'm going to use the Sephora Professional Bronzer brush number 44. I think this is like super old and not sold anymore, but we're going to bronze our forehead with this. I feel like this really ties it together because if we're going to be contouring, we need to add some color to other areas of the face. Especially if you feel like you have a large forehead, you can kind of make it appear smaller. You just have to kind of manipulate the shapes on your face. And... You, one look would not be um, complete without a highlight. So, friends, if I could find my highlights, I would put it on. So the one I'm going to wear today is MAC Whisper of Guilt. So beautiful. So, so beautiful. And I'm going to be applying that with my MAC 188 brush. to my check bonds anywhere we want to bring out they should bring these extra dimension skin finishes back don't you think? I think so anyway so I'm going to give my lashes a quick coat of mascara using the Marc Jacobs Genius Lash Lifter Gel um, Mascara, and then I'm going to apply my falsies. So I'm going to do that off camera because sometimes the struggle is so real. So yeah, that is my tutorial for 
a wearable crotch crease. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like this video and I hope you learned something or hope you'll try it out. If you do try this look out, you should definitely tag me in your pictures on Instagram. My name is at Stefala, S-T-E-F-A-L-A. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next one. Hope you liked it. Bye.